Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm back with another podcast. So I want to go ahead and talk about this viral clip that's gone viral all over Instagram. I posted it this morning. It's of Black China and her best friend from D.C., uh, Treasure. And basically they get into it and Black China is saying that, you know, I've given you so much money. I looked out for you. And Treasure is saying that you gave me a W-9 to help you embezzle money. And then the FBI was like, bitch, what, rewind that back? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, these girls are literally, you know, begging the feds, honey, to come and knock on both their damn doors. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Really? I give you money on top of thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. You are so ungrateful. Fall into the category of like Tony, and that's how I'm looking at you, and it's really sad. Wow, me? I gave you so much money to words, though. Like, I had to make you fill out a W-9. No, and that's you asked up. me to fill out that's a W line to help you embezzle money. Embezzle? Yeah. And yes, when I asked you, did you use my that W9? Was, you that told was me that bribe. Thanks. So I can get your W9 so I can fucking write you off. Embezzle? Why would you embezzle? Embezzle? So let me pull up receipts. Because you're a bummer. Yeah, and bitch. pull it. And that's, yeah. So now. So I'm now done. what? Please be done. Because I'm a bum ass bitch. Yeah, and I've, please, I've been and waiting for you to say please, that for a long time. So please right. leave my house. All right, bye. 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 Goodbye. The fuck? The Real Black China. Available now. Only on Zeus. All right, so you guys just saw that disturbing video, bitch, okay? So then um, Black China goes on to Instagram and she basically writes this. She says, when things get too real, it can get ugly. And you sometimes lose the people closest to you as a result. Never expected this season of my life and the hashtag Real Black China to go this way. Tune in to hashtag Real Black China on at Zeus Network. Link in my bio. So Treasure comes into the comment section and she writes this. I'm gonna always be blessed like I have been. You set me up with them. Look at you. You cut every part that was important. What I find really funny about this entire situation is that my boy Freddie O, he was at the Zeus premiere party. This was back in July, just a few weeks ago, you know, right before my P-Day. And so on the stage, Black China and Treasure were talking. They were friends. Treasure had Black China's back. She was crying and basically confirming that, you know, Tokyo Tony, you know, abused Black China and she's witnessed all this abuse throughout the years and Black China's crying. And I'm like, this was just not even a few weeks ago. So I'm confused as to if that argument went down the way it went down and if it's so real why were they just friends a few weeks ago in the real world off of reality television? Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I was a little shocked, especially infamous Tony, because uh, blasphemy. Like that's just when I just think of some of the stuff that she says, and she constantly contradicts herself. And I have witnessed for years the abuse that my best friend has to endure with her, and. Um, I believe that the basis for her anger did not just become when China came to LA. And I hope that everyone will see all of that. China is not the bad child. Um, I'm not saying Ms. Tony is a bad mom either. I'm just saying she has a lot that she needs to work on. And I'm just hoping that the people who they can relate to, they relate to it and they take something from it and it doesn't demean anything. Head back, head back. I'm sorry, you head back. See, and she like, I, and I'm trying, I was a little, I mean, we tried not to do this, but this is like real life. I'm sorry, baby. This is my spider pig. Like I said, I am her biggest fan. I'm the original China doll. Like, if you go back when she was booking, when she was getting $200 to walk into the club, I was right there. And free energy bottles. We want that bottle. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that I mean, we was not playing. But this is, this is, this is hard. And I'm just, I'm really, really, really proud of you for actually really stepping out and showing people, proving. Because if you follow, you see Ms. Tony always going and going and going on the internet and we don't never respond. This is, it needs to be addressed. And I'm glad that she is finally addressing it. Woo! 
All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So like I said, the whole situation is just really kind of... I, it's just kind of weird to me. So, of course, Treasure's out here trying to defend herself. She's taking her Snapchat. She's taking her Instagram and she's posted a bunch of stuff. She's retweeting people saying that she's a real friend. She also did a live that I want you guys to go ahead and check out where she's talking about the editing and everything else. So y'all go ahead and check a snippet of this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. It is ridiculous how they just edited that clip. You can clearly see me sitting down, then I'm standing up, then I'm by the door, then I'm over the place, over the place. They edited everything to make it look in China's way. I was not even gonna do this shit. That shit happened on Saturday, okay? Just this past Saturday, I was told that they was going to put it together. This was supposed to be episode nine or something. They didn't already edit it up to fix the shit. So now I see it was obviously a ploy just to say fuck treasure, to try to make me look like I'm a fucked up ass person. Everybody knows that that's not even me. I have done nothing but be there for that girl unconditionally for forever. I have never in my life played with her. Never was not there for her. Always there for her. I'm not even gonna run down the times that she let me down because I'm a real ass bitch. I'm not about to sit on here and talk about how fucked up it is because it's very, very, very evident how fucked up it is. It's very evident how fucked up it is. She's talking about posting receipts and all of this other shit. I have the receipts too, Angela. You got upset because you said that you just gave me thousands of dollars a couple of months ago. And you didn't. You got mad because I reminded you. No, sweetie, you didn't. The last time you gave me some money was last year. And I actually said September. And according to your PayPal thing, when you had your screenshot, it said clearly August 1st, 2018. So you see how that whole little shit was all chopped the fuck up, right? And then she talking about, oh, she get, in 2015, China gave me $5,000 for my birthday. Just like she give everybody $5,000. She didn't gave Joe $5,000 for her birthday. Probably awkward. a whole lot of people who work for her. $5,000 is nothing to that bitch. It's a fucking bag. I've been in the mall with her. She spent eleven, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000. And I didn't buy shit. Even if she asked me if I wanted something, I still said no. Because that's never been me. Everybody fucking knows that. I try my best to keep quiet because truly in my heart, after that shit happened on Saturday, I genuinely thought, that I would be able to talk to her to get this shit fixed because I said I'm not about to lose my best friend over this fucking shit and I knew she I knew in my heart that she was not going to do that to me they didn't edit it and clipped up that shit in three motherfucking days in three fucking days trying to know in real life my nigga I will whoop your ass I've already done it before. I've slapped the fucking dog shit out of you. And you know this shit. You will never ever in your life get the opportunity to do this shit to me again. I am so, so, so sorry to my family, to my real friends who I have ever, if any situation, sided with her. Well, you know what? That's not even true because all my friends that's been around China done tried to carry every last one of my friends. And do I ever go for that? Where my friends at? My friends gotta be in this fucking chat. I have never let her play with any of my fucking friends. Ever. I always take up for all of my bitches. Cause I'm a real one. 
the fact that you let this shit get chopped up and aired like this, bitch, and I volunteered to do a fucking W9 for you because you lost all your employees and you said that you needed to fucking write off some fucking money. Then you gonna try to play with me and say it's because you broke me checks? Bitch, please. As much as I do for you, I've never asked you for nothing. And tell me, show me a message when I asked you for something other than can you post my business page? And you straight told me, no, I don't have to post your business page. I'm not obligated. And I said, you know what? You're right. You are not obligated to do anything for me, Angie. You do not have to post my business because my business is going to prosper regardless because I'm a boss ass bitch. But China, you know what? You already know that. The fact that you allowed this 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 producer Lim to really sit and come and fuck us up like this and chop it up. He I specifically told him I have not talked to China in a week since when you went to Houston and shit. Because you're busy, I'm busy. I said I need to talk to her to see what we need to talk about on Saturday when y'all told me we was filming again. Then y'all bum rushed me with this shit. I wasn't even mic'd. I wasn't even mic'd during that fucking conversation. This is crazy. This is Hollywood for your ass. It's I'm I'm I don't even give a fuck about the video. I'm truly hurt because I just lost my best friend. For the world to see. I literally just lost my best friend on fucking television. On the internet. Not even on TV. She's not even woman enough to answer the phone right now. She won't even answer the phone. When your high comes down. Don't fucking call me and try to fucking say, Treasure, just be my best friend. Treasure, just be my best friend. You have done it, Angie. This is it. Even when you, I, don't, I never sided with your mother. I never sided with anybody who ever went against you. Because I know genuinely you're misloved. And I'm genuinely loved. I'm genuinely loved. I have a loving spouse who breaks his back for me. I have real friends who travel across the country to be with me on my events. I have a big brother who will fucking die for me right now. I got siblings, cousins, everybody. Do you know how many of my family? Oh my God. I am distraught behind this. My text messages is going off. All my sisters, my friends, everybody is texting me. Because they know this is not even me. I genuinely, genuinely thought that I would be able to talk to you before this clip was, was edited and we would be able to fix this. But since everything goes on Instagram, and since everything is, you know, it's for the public, I'm doing it for the public right now. Everybody wants to know what's really going on, right? Y'all are going to see what's really going on. This girl is self-sabotaging. And she's allowing other people to self-sabotage her. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pray for her. I'm genuinely going to pray for her. I was on my way to go and have a decent night at the Black Ink premiere party. I didn't did my hair. I didn't did my makeup. Y'all know I don't even be wearing makeup. I am actually really upset. If I would have known that this was a fucking, a fucking, a witch hunt to try to fucking make me look crazy. But clearly you can see how it's chopped up. I mean, obviously it was a whole lot more that was said in between there. But damn, Angie. Like, are you fucking serious? Fuck Zeus. They just, they job. This is what they want to do. But the fact that you even allow yourself to say some of the shit that you said out of your mouth. Me, a bum ass bitch, the woman who you get half of your fucking ideas from, the woman who does half of your fucking fucking captions and your fucking and your excuses and shit. I know y'all don't think she come up with that shit on her own. Illiterate as fuck. Can't even form a sentence together. Treasure stop. What I'm not gonna do is stoop to her level. Just like I've not stooped to her mother's level.
like mother, like child. This is very, very, very heartbreaking for me. It's more so heartbreaking because my sons and my daughter, they're, they're losing a godmother. I'm losing King and Dream. Like, it's not even just about you, Angie. We got kids in this. You're doing this to our kids, too, though. Not even just me. You're doing this shit to our kids. I am so fucking hurt. I can't even fucking breathe. Which fucking way am I going? I'm so fucking hurt. I can't even breathe right now. I would have never in a million years would have thought this shit would come out like this. Not in a million fucking years. I still love that girl. Still love her. And I still You know what? People who love me is calling me. And I'm going to talk to the people who love me. Honey. All right, so you guys just saw that clip of Treasure trying to defend herself. Now, what I find funny about this entire situation, while I'm no fan of Teriyaki Tina, a.k.a., you know, Tokyo Tony, we've gone back and forth before on social media. But Tokyo Tony being called it. She was saying that, you know, Treasure is not really Black China's friend. All these people around Black China are just funkies. You know, they're just there to use her for her fame and her money and things like that. Now, what I find really interesting is when Tokyo Tony was saying the same thing, because remember, that's what Zeus has been using to promote this show, is the edited clips of Tokyo Tony screaming and ranting like a banshee and going off on Black China. So when Tokyo Tony was out here saying they edited these clips, these clips are out of sync, that's not what happened. They're making me look like the bad guy. Treasure was at the premiere in Atlanta with Black China, basically saying that Tokyo Tony's a liar, she's abusive and everything else. So I just find it really interesting that when Tokyo Tony was saying the same thing that, you know, she's being edited to look a certain way that, you know, Black China basically used her and everything else, you guys call Tokyo Tony a liar, but then when the same thing befalls you and Black China, now it's editing, now it's chopped and screwed, now Black China's playing me, now Black China's trying to make me look bad. But when Tony said this a few weeks ago, she was just crazy and a crackhead. You know, so the whole situation is crazy, you know what I mean? But sometimes, you know, crackhead mama or not, mother knows best, bitch, okay? Like I always say, and y'all get creeped out every time I say it, when folks sell their soul, you have no right to complain when the devil comes back to collect. You know, and I feel really bad for Treasure. I do think that Treasure was one of Black China's real friends, okay? But the problem is Black China wants to be Hollywood. She wants to be taken seriously. She wants to, she wants, she's gotten very accustomed to a lifestyle that she really did not earn, okay? She got it based off of the people she was associated with, the folks she was fucking, her having a baby with Rob Kardashian. So she's become accustomed to a certain lifestyle. She does not want to let that go, okay? The lifestyle is more important to Black China than her relationship with her mother, than her relationship with Treasure. And you guys just saw that play out, that she had no problem basically throwing her own friend friend under the bus now when they were first talking about this whole zeus tv show they were making it look like everything has already been recorded like everything's done here go the episodes enjoy but now we're finding out via treasure they're still recording and creating storylines treasure was supposed to just go and hang with black china and it ends up being this huge debacle this was just filmed saturday so this answers my question as to well damn when was this film because y'all was just kicking it in the atl back on like july 20th or something like that you know what i'm saying at the premiere at the zeus premiere party so that's why i was confused as to well when was this filmed well now if you guys listen to treasures live she stated and this was just filmed saturday but we've been told for weeks now that this show is already finished packaged and you guys just sign up for a subscription and there goes the show but we're finding out that no they're literally creating all this drama and filming this as the days go on so this is like some really sneaky crazy calculated shit now why i don't agree with her as far as like the way she talks down to her daughter and the cursing and you know just all the shit she does one thing i will say is that there's a lot of truth to some of the things that tokyo tony has been saying tokyo tony been saying forever that her daughter's on drugs this is nothing new but people say this all the time about her in the industry and we just heard treasure basically confirm from the same thing when you come down off your high then hit me up 
Okay, like I've been around a lot of people in the industry and you can tell when people, you know, what I'm saying when they get down and the industry can be so dark and demonic and you're so stressed and you got to figure out when you're going to get the next bag. I don't even fault these people for snorting to in and doing what they got to do to make it day by day. Unfortunately, China is surrounding herself with a lot of horrible people. A lot of people who are taking advantage of her. A lot of folks who are just trying to get that bag based off of her dysfunction. If these people really cared about black China, instead of exploiting her, her mother, her best friend treasure, and trying to create these bullshit storylines, they need to get that girl into counseling, possibly rehab. You know what I'm saying? There's something going on that's a lot deeper beneath the surface. But again, when you sell your soul looking for fame and, and fortune and everything else, you can't then cry foul when the devil comes back to collect. I see the moves that you're making. The moves you're making is through the conversations we've had, whether you took the advice or not. One, keep them bitches out your way. Two, keep them Bama ass, flagrant ass fuck boys out your face. Keep your shit together, dear. Okay? You got the bossiest motherfucker mother out this motherfucker. And you don't even know how to utilize her. What are you doing, my nigga? For real, my nigga. What is you doing, son? Do you need a hug? Do I need to fly out that motherfucker just to give you a motherfucking mommy hug? Come through, nigga. Wake up. Who are you? What the fuck is going on with you? You don't want to take my advice, my nigga? Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you, my nigga. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. These bitches are not right for you. You need to fucking reevaluate your fucking plan. All the cars closed, jury, that shit is fine, bitch. But it grows and goes old and sour. Having all the money in the world is never going to stop your family. Okay? This shit has never been about money. This shit has never been about money. I never needed you for nothing. You came out my pussy. I almost died for your motherfucking ass. You get it? You got it. Let's go. So, Treasure, if you watched all this go down, you watched how she treated her mother, you watched how she played people, you said you were in the background doing all this, creating her captions, she's inarticulate and all this other stuff, you sat there and you rode along with it. It was cool when she was disrespecting everybody else, but then once it came back to your doorstep, now it's an issue. And that's my issue with this whole thing is that, you know, people will sit by and watch things and then when it comes back on them, then it's an issue. Just take ownership. Just take ownership for it. You fucked up. You allowed her to get besides herself because all y'all were low key chasing that fame, chasing that bag. And now that same fame and that same bag that everybody's chasing is coming back to bite everybody in the ass. Tokyo Tony still in the DMV struggling, ranting and raving like a lunatic on social media. Black China's losing all her friends. She's involved in all types of lawsuits from former friends and, you know, just all types of craziness. Now she's lost her most trusted friend who's been with her before all of this shit. And like Treasure was saying, this is deeper than just me and Black China. We got our children involved. You know what I'm saying? These are This is my, my children's godmother. I'm her children's godmother. Our kids are basically play cousins. So I, I definitely see the hurt that she's going through. The whole situation is just crazy and unfortunate, but I definitely feel like Zeus Network is taking advantage of Black China and Black China is allowing it because, again, she's so busy chasing that fame and chasing that bag. And I hope when everything is said and done, I hope it's worth it. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Deuces.